What's up guys, it's Ryan here, and I'm taking a look at Metal Gear Solid 5. Some people are having a hard time finding Paz and getting her extracted from the mission area here. Now, there will be a little bit of spoilers, so if you don't want to see anything, to spoil anything, turn back now. But if, if you want a guide or some gameplay footage that shows getting to Paz and getting out, hopefully this helps. If you have any other questions, you can always pop them in the comments section below, and uh, we'll get to it here. So this is starting directly after picking up Chico, and what you want to do is you want to hug the right side of the cliff here. There will be a couple of guards. Now this does change if you're in hard mode, so this is like specifically for normal mode. But there will be a couple guys hanging out right here. One of them will go up the walkway, and then you'll have a free shot at this guard sitting in the guard tower. Just gonna get rid of this guy so nobody can find him. Probably one of my favorite things in this game so far. It's tossing him off cliffs. After getting rid of the guard, you just want to hang off to the right side here along these bushes. Uh, there will be a couple of guards. There'll be one right here stationed and also a guard with a truck. And he's going to get into that truck a second or two here, in a second or two here, and take off. And then that guard will be free for interrogation. Alright, now that that truck's gone, just gonna sneak up behind this guard and grab him real quick. You can stick him up too, if you want to, with a, with a gun, but uh, I find it easier just to grab him with the QCQ. And ask him where he's going. Uh, that was really helpful. Gave you, it, it gives you some uh, guys on the map where they're posted, and that way you can follow them on your iDroid. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other guard, pick him up and toss him off the ridge. I just if they're close to a ridge, it's the easiest way to get rid of them so nobody can find them, and it's fun. So we're going to have to make our way through the helipad area. Uh, the easiest way f I found to do this is basically to stick to this right side and hug the wall. There's only a few enemies that you'll have to deal with and there's a couple grates you can get through to get through easily. Um, also what can be helpful and what I'm going to do right here is if you go to this hut in the back there's usually some ammo for the uh, pistol. For the, for the tranquilizer darts. And that can be really helpful later if you need more tranks. Um, also something that can be really helpful that I'm going to do right here is get up on this hut that's to the right just a little bit of where I'm looking right now. You can climb up there and then you can mark a ton of enemies and that way you have some situational awareness for where everybody is and what needs to happen.
While you're on top of this building, there will also be two guards just to the left and below you that will talk about to uh, talk about guards going back and forth from the boiler room where Paz actually is. So I don't know if this will trigger the spot because it didn't this time on the map where she's located. But we're going there anyways, so it shouldn't be too bad. But it might trigger it for you guys if, if you haven't been to the boiler room yet. said he heard screams coming out and music music that's some creepy shit now we're just gonna make our way around the outside of this area there's only a few guys that you have to take care of and you can hide them pretty well also, there's a camera, but you can shimmy under a shed to get around the camera altogether. So, I'm going to do that here in just a second. Now, I kind of took a far shot on the, uh, on, the, on the pistol there to try to take out that guy. You don't actually have to take that shot from that far away. You can just roll around the outside and he won't notice you. And then you can take a lot closer shot if you want to. Now basically for this part what you're going to want to do is just hang on the right side of this wall. Uh, I found the easiest way to get by most of these guards is just crawling through this section. What you're going to do is get on the ground and crawl by the fence here. And just when you get past the fence there will be a hut that you can crawl under. And when you crawl under that hut you actually bypass a camera. So that's the best way to get around all of this. When you get to this section, there will be a small grating here, or a storm drain, that we can uh, crawl through. And this will get you right to the door, basically to the admin building, which will skip all of these dudes, which is a, is a good way to get around. Again, just hug the right side here for a little bit. I think I found, yeah, I found one of the XLF patches, the first one that I found. Uh, but hug the right side here, and you'll be able to uh, get to the door without really messing with any of these guards, which is a huge plus. Alright, when you're in here, there will be one guard in this area before heading down the steps and a camera that you have to watch out for. And the one guard, I've pretty much found him every time sitting in between these transformers that you'll see in just a second. So what you can do is you can, I, I'll go back around and get behind him and interrogate him and he will actually point out exactly where Paz is. Uh, I try to shoot at him, but apparently the railing is too much of a challenge for a snake to get over. <laughs> Spit it out. 
This camera is pretty easy. You just kind of wait for it to rotate away and then run under it and then wait for it to rotate back and then you'll be able to go down the stairs right there which lead to the boiler room and lead to Paz. Now when you get down here there's going to be a couple guards. I think I accidentally trigger a uh, a sequence here where I had to put one of them to sleep but uh I don't know, it looks like he's walking towards me. There's a couple of guards down here, so you gotta be careful what you, what you do with them. But, I tried to hide them right here on the steps, and they seemed to be just fine where they were. The map has been updated. So you don't actually have to go this way, and I do get in a little bit of trouble here. He spots me uh, for a second. The Paz is actually just to the left of this doorway. Uh, but I think it's a good idea to take these guards out so that they can't come back and see you when you're leaving the area. Alright, now that we've taken care of that, we can actually go down to the boiler room area right here and actually find Paz. Huey's handling preparations for the inspection. Keep your mind on the mission. Just gonna skip the cutscene here just in case because I don't want to spoil anything if I don't have to for people. And now we have to get Paz out. And this is actually probably the hardest part of the whole mission. I'm gonna get spotted right here so I need to take him out pretty quickly with a silence dart. There might be another guy over there sometime so make sure to check that corner. Now when we get back up into this area, the camera will again be rotating, so you have to make sure that you run under it when it's not looking down the steps, and then run away from it when it is looking down the steps. And there will be a guy right there, right by the door, and his path, he's actually going to go up the steps. So what I did is I dropped paths once I get up these steps and kind of wait for him to come by. You kind of want to be fast in these areas because pretty quickly after you get out of the admin building, they will notice that Paz is gone and everybody goes on alert. So you might want to rush through this section, and in fact on normal mode if you run through this section you might be able to make it out. Um, but if you're trying to go for a, a no alerts or a silent way out, 
Just stick to the same way you came in. I got pretty lucky here because I'm pretty sure that this tank should be able to see me if it's looking that the way that you're coming from. But if you hug this left side, the side that you came in, you should be able to get through without being seen. They've discovered Poss is missing. They'll be looking for her. Hurry, you've got to get out of there. There are going to be a couple of tricky guards like this one right here, but the good news is, is if you wait and if you stay patient, you should be able to take them out. Unfortunately, I did get the trigger there for the reflex, but uh, if I was a little bit more patient, I probably could have dropped Paz down and waited for him to come around and gotten him without him noticing me. Again, just going to stay patient here. I, I thought about trying to hit him with a couple of Trank darts, but that seemed like a pretty far shot. Uh, he rotates around the tower, so you can stay around the outside when he's not looking in your direction pretty easily. Again, just staying around the outside will help a lot. There's a lot of different places for cover so people can't see you. And uh, this section's a little bit tricky, but as long as you stay patient, you should be fine. The guard that's straight ahead right there will rotate from each side of the bridge. And the guard on top of the hut will rotate the four corners. So you can catch them when they're not looking. And, and looks like I get pretty lucky here. As long as I'm in the bush and not moving, he doesn't see me. Alright, so now we just have to make sure that, that guard is not looking this way, and we should be able to get out of here. Now, I didn't know this the first time, but there are three guards that are going to be walking around the cliffside here that you're going to have to take out. If you drop down kind of where you had to carry Chico or any of the other prisoners to not be seen on the cliffside, you can actually get a drop on these guys pretty easily. Clearing out these enemies will make it easier for the chopper to come in so that it won't be noticed. So I could have been a lot more careful through that section so that they didn't notice me at all, but um, 
but I was just kind of excited to be towards the exit and rushed it a little bit. But so what you want to do here after you take these three guys out is you can take her over to this extraction point. This is where the helicopter can land and where you can take like Chico, the prisoners, and I think the best spot to take uh, Paz out as well. So all you have to do now is call in the helicopter and then get out. kind of did a bonehead thing. I was still getting used to the controls and I just put a marker here instead of actually calling the helicopter. Uh, you have to make sure to go into the iDroid to do that. Just a silly little mistake. Hopefully this guy did help you uh, collect paths and get her out of there. If you have any questions, make sure to hit us up in the comments below. We do have more stuff coming up on Metal Gear and on new games such as Infamous. That's coming out soon. Um, make sure to check the website, GamerTeros.com. We just went through a huge overhaul. site looks beautiful. There's a bunch of new cool things to do on there. Uh, good things for videos and our podcast, so make sure to check that out. And we will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.